This will be an unboxing of the Corsair H60. I know what you're thinking. I've, doesn't, I've seen an H60 unboxing before. Why do I need to watch this? Well, this isn't just the regular H60 that came out a couple of years ago. This is the H60 second edition. With it comes a different tubing, a different mounting mechanism, and generally a, a completely different look and different fans. So what do we have on here? Uh, we've got support for Intel and AMD. And then we have that in a bunch of different languages. Now, high performance liquid CPU cooler, and then we have that set in probably what is French. If we go to the, the top, we see that there is a five year uh, guarantee warranty on this. Upgrade from stock CPU or bulky air cooler to the efficiency and simplicity of liquid CPU cooling. Enjoy better cooling performance and lower noise. Well, that's arguable. And protect your investment in your CPU. Most of that is completely true and not just Corsair propaganda. On the back here, we've got a breakdown where we see even more Corsair propaganda because they say Intel box cooler. Fail. They don't give us a temperature. They just they just said it, it failed. Um, yeah. So we've got Hydro H60, 61.2 degrees, and that's on a 3770K. At 4.6 gigahertz, 100% load with the room temperature of 25 degrees. And then we've got noise, H60, 30 decibels, Intel uh, box cooler, 35 decibels. Not much difference there, to be honest. You will hear 30 decibels as much as you will hear 35. That's really not what I would class as silent. In the box, we've got an H60. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, Corsair SP120L, uh, so that's a, sort of a more basic version of Corsair's uh, uh, pressure series of 120mm fans. We have a magnetic mounting bracket and mounting hardware, and a quick start guide. It supports LGA 1155, 1150 as well, same mounting mechanism, 1156, 1366, and LGA 2011, and AMD AM2 and AM3 in socket FM1, and then it's got some processors which are can. Uh, use those various sockets. And I think that's all that's on the box. We've got some information about uh, the dimensions of the unit itself and the fan speeds, 2000 RPM, uh, pushing 54 uh, CFM of airflow, 2.36 millimeters of air pressure. The higher the air pressure, the better. Uh, fan noise level is 30 decibels. It is very audible. Uh, I'd rather replace those with quieter fans, which I tend to do with uh, this cooler itself. And then the radiator dimensions, and that's basically it. You do open this up to get an insight into the product a little bit more. We've got a solutions guide. Oh, good. Look at that. Look at this. Come on, Corsair. I mean, that's three. I got one of these. I got. I got one of these when I unboxed my Corsair H50. And there's my Corsair H50. Wow. A lot of these products probably aren't even available. No, that's not even available anymore. Good job, Corsair. Warranty against defects. Warranty for Australian consumers. Good, good. Two year warranty. What? Ranges from two years to lifetime. Okay. So five year, five year guarantee in the box. Oh yeah, it's only two year, two to year to lifetime warranty. We've got uh, the hardware, so you know uh, what standoffs to use. They are different from 2011 to 1150, 1155, 1156. Washers, thumb screws how to put it on, how to put the back plate on. The mounting mechanism has been changed. There's now a magnetic uh, mounting system, so that will just magnetically attach to that uh, the uh, block there, so it's much easier to install. I've installed a lot of these. Uh, different fan connectors, how you plug it in, AMD installation, etc, etc. And that's basically it. We've got a bit of foam, and the foam's gone. So, take the H60 out of the box. Covered in plastic. Let's just re-angle the camera. So we've got a modified uh, base pipe uh, for the uh, CPU. It goes on the CPU. Uh, the regular Corsair H60 version 1. This was just sort of a flat um, plastic piece just with the Corsair logo. So this looks probably a little bit bit nicer in your case. We have a three pin fan connector coming out of that and with two flexible tubes so it's probably going to be a little bit easier to mount. We have the 120 millimeter radiator itself and then there is the copper base of that with pre-applied thermal compound which uh, I've been informed is 
is pretty decent. I used the, uh, the stock thermal compound on my H50 and that didn't really cause me too many problems. This is a single SP120L uh, fan. Uh, if, if you want to take most advantage of what, what you can with that radio, it's recommended that you set up two fans in push-pull. That gives you a little bit better performance. Although, if you really want to get good water cooling performance, you should have something like a Corsair H100, H100i. That's a 240mm 240mm radio because that will give you significantly better performance. But if your case doesn't support it, something like an H60 will suffice. And yes, I know, some of you might say, well, you can probably get... Uh, better cooling performance out of a, a cheaper uh, CPU air cooler. Yes, this is true, but I like the the cleanness and the sort of the the reduced bulk that the something like a Corsair H60 provides. Also means you're not going to have any issues with memory compatibility. And it just generally looks better. And as long as you're not overclocking too much, uh, pushing it uh, to any sort of ridiculous extremes, you're going to be fine with something like a Corsair H60 or basically any aftermarket. CPU cooler as long as it's as long as you're not using the stock Intel cooler. That's the magnetic bracket. I think that's probably for AMD. Yep, and there's the Intel mounting system here with the Intel backplate, and then we've got some screws and bits and bobs, and that's all that's in the box. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Corsair H60 second edition uh, liquid cooling all-in-one liquid cooling unit.